A couple months ago, one of the production websites I launched got so much traffic that the APIs got fried instantly. Now, one thing I didn't implement at the time was rate limiting, and that's what I'll be showing you in this video today. So rate limiting on your Next.js APIs is very, very important, and it can be done in literally just a few minutes. I'll be using Upstash, which is a Redis provider, in order to do this, and they have the most simplest package in order to get this done. You guys know me if you've been subscribed and following this channel. If someone has already built a robust system of how to do things, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel because I'm focused on building great products. That being said, I will link this article down below. It's very simple. You're just gonna set up your Next.js app, install these packages, and literally this is the code. Now, if you've watched my, um, not like a couple videos ago, my Next.js starter template, I have this already built in. So I'm gonna show you how I set it up because it is very, very simple. First and foremost, you're gonna have to go to Upstash, uh, upstash.com, I'll link it down in the description, set up an account and just create a Redis database. So just gonna click create, you can name it whatever you want, I'll just call it rate limit. Pick whatever region is closest to you. I'll have SSL enabled and then just create and let the database uh, be prepared. Once that's done, you take your endpoint and your password, you copy these and you set up your environment variables, right? So you see it's going to be upstash redis underscore rest URL and upstash underscore redis underscore rest underscore token. So let me show you how I have it set up on my starter template. So if you go on the lib folder, what you're going to see first is this redis.ts file. And this is uh, me initializing Redis. So you import Redis from upstash Redis and you do export const Redis equals to redis.fromenv. I know in the article they do new Redis and then pass the URL and token. But when you use the redis.fromenv, it will pull from the environment variables um, your key. So it should be good to go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set up your rate limiter, which can be done so easily. Again, the article, it's this code right here. Let me just show you how I have it set up. So you're gonna import rate limit from upstash rate limit. You're gonna export const rate limit equals new rate limit. And then there's some things you pass by in this object to set it up. Your Redis, the limiter, and this is very, very important. You're gonna do rate limit dot sliding window. Now I have 10 comma 10 S. So this is essentially saying 10 requests per, for, per 10 seconds. So if I did five, it would be five requests per 10 seconds, right? And then the timeout when someone tries to go past this is 10 seconds, right? So very simple, very easy setup. Now what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm gonna show you a template API I have with the rate limiter setup. So this is how it looks. You're going to have export async function get, it could be post request, whatever request. And then you're gonna pull the IP address. So it's gonna be request.ip, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to pass the IP to rate limit dot limit, right? And essentially what this is going to do, it's gonna track how many times this specific address, this IP address is uh, hitting the API, right? And based on the limiter that we set, which is five per 10 seconds, once it passes this, once it passes that threshold, this will fire off because every time the API goes through, it should uh, success should be true. But if success is false, then this if statement fires off, and then guess what the response is? You're going to be rate limited for 29, and I console log these are fun. So let's look at this in action. All right, so let's test it out. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna spout. There you go. See, I got rate limited, and look what it says. Limit five, remaining zero, and this is, uh, I believe, the time for it to reset. Let me try pinging it again. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But now let's try to spam. There you go. Let's actually console log remaining just so we can see even when it does go through how many are remaining. So let's console log this right under the if statement, and let's do this again. Okay, three remaining. If I keep spamming, there you go. So rate limiting is as simple as this, brothers and sisters. Super simple, super easy. Um, and if you plan on releasing a production application, 100%
definitely need to do this. Now, that being said, that is it for the video. But before we end off, I wanted to cordially invite you all to join my YouTube channel's Discord group. I've decided to create a Discord group. So the link will be in the description. Make sure to join. I wonder who the first person will be other than me. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Link is in the description for the new Discord group that just got created. I'm looking to build a community with you guys of developers that just build awesome things and do awesome things with the skills they have. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.